Today was such a privilege to be here, number one. Uh, after five years, it's been an honour to serve and for the business community to really turn out like they did today and, and hear the brand story and the story of Edmonton and what we tried to do over the last five years. I think it was, uh, it was emotional and uh, inspirational at the same time. And uh, so it feels, feels good to be done, a little bit of that one. But I'll tell you, it's, uh, we've got a lot more work to do here, even over the next three months, in order to move a couple big ideas forward. Well, my job is to build a great team. And, uh, and I, you know, I put up my executive team on the, on the screen and I couldn't be prouder of the team we built. In fact, I, I don't think I've ever put together a better team than what we have today. But, you know, it takes the airport, it takes the city administration, city council, Northlands, all, you know, all these stakeholders that need to come together in order to have one voice for our city. And, and we're just getting there now. I mean, it's, uh, we have a long way to go, but I'm pretty proud of what we've accomplished today. My number one concern is that, hey, it's not a concern, it's just you see it with businesses, you do see it with governments and everything. You, once you achieve something, then, oh, we can go put our money somewhere else and invest somewhere, you know, in a, in a new initiative. What you need to do from a marketing and a brand building point of view, and I really, I, we learned this at Procter & Gamble, is you can never take your foot off the gas. You need to continue to reinvest in that because you've got everyone else wanting to eat your lunch. And if Edmonton wants to be, you know, Canada's fifth largest city, Canada's youngest, fastest growing city, it's going to take this entire community to continue to be on message going forward.